Hello all, and this is Astral, short guide to adding add-ons. To add an add-on to World of Warcraft, there are just a few basic things you need to know. Firstly, of course, is finding and downloading the add-on. Secondly, you need to move it to the proper location on your computer. And thirdly, you need to implement it in-game and set it up. Okay, the first thing we're going to do here is go to a reputable gaming site, in this case Curse Gaming, and download the add-on. This, of course, is the first step in downloading it. The particular one I'm going to download is WoW Instant Messenger, which is a chat add-on here, as you can see. And it will, you know, manage my whispers and everything, but more importantly, um, it's important that I know first off that this is not going to have any viruses in it. Uh, this is a reputable gaming site so I'm not going to check that. And secondly, where I'm downloading it to. This goes just straight to my desktop so I'm not going to worry about that right now. Okay, now that it's on my computer, my next job is to move it from my desktop into the World of Warcraft folder so that WoW can access all the files on it. Okay, the interface may look a little different than Windows, but I'm going to my Applications folder, which in Windows would be your Program Files folder, and scrolling down to the World of Warcraft folder. And inside there, there is the Interface folder, and inside of that is the Add-ons folder. And there you can see all the add-ons I've already downloaded, and I'm dragging WoW Instant Messenger right into there to join them. Now we're going to go into the game interface, see how they're implemented. There's the add-ons button in your character selection screen, and there's Wounds to Messenger that we just installed. You can turn it off, turn it on there, uh, load out-of-date add-ons, customize uh, what add-ons are for what characters. But for right now, we're just going to hit the OK button and go right in. Now, inside the game, there are a lot of ways that you can interact with mods and whatnot. We're just going to go over the basics right now. The first thing that we're going to go over here is the chat commands. Um, all the mods have different kind of commands. Um, some of them will, you know, reset windows, some of them will remove them or whatever. Right now we're just going to type in slash WIM, which stands for Wound Some Messenger, and that's going to bring up all of the possible options that we could have here. You can click all the different things, see what they do, change the colors of your text and your whispers and whatnot. And there's also a command bubble right over there on the mini-map that makes it really easy to see what conversations you have and all that sorts of stuff. So now that you know how to install and use add-ons, I hope you all go out there and customize an interface that fits your playstyle.